coming! Who's coming? The snowman! They're catching! Really? They're coming! <laughs> Welcome back to Slightly Less Tactical. Today we're answering the question that nobody's asking. How much snow does it take to stop a bullet? Can it save your life? As you've seen, we got attacked by the angry snowman. So here he is. I don't know if this is gonna work today or not, but we're gonna try. So tell us what we hit. We got a piece of Air 500 steel right there. So we're gonna start with the 22. We'll see if that even slows it down at all and we'll work our way up. So let me get loaded and we'll start this. All right, let's get the 22 going. Let's take the shot and we'll see what happens. I heard a dink, so this might be a short video. Let's go check it out. Looks like we hit right about there. Definitely hit the steel. Here we go. Yep, we hit it. Let's move it down and we'll see what happens. All right, so we shot through the head of it. It went through about a foot of snow, it didn't even slow down. So now we're gonna shoot it in the midsection, I guess, if snowmen have midsections. This is like three or four feet thick, so we'll see what happens. All right. It's clear. Let's go take a look. Looks like we hit it right where I wanted to. <laughs> it did come out. It came out right there. Just a little bit above the steel. So I guess we'll try the lower one, then we'll just blow this thing up. All right, got another 22 loaded up. It's about five, six feet at the base of this thing. So we'll see if this can even slow down to even a 22. Let's take the shot. Well, I didn't hear a ding, but I could have just missed the steel. Let's go take a look. There's where I hit. And it. It went through right there. Well, I guess when the snowmen attack, and we all know it's coming eventually, don't use snow to stop a bullet. So let me load up some guys. We'll just destroy this thing, have some fun. All right, let's see what happens to snow with an AR 15. I think his head came off. We'll go take a look. I don't know how many shots I was, maybe 15 or so. Definitely ripped his face apart though. Didn't even slow down. And then as everything you shoot, the exit wound is terrible. Next, we'll see what an AK-47 does. All right, we got the AK here. Let's see how much snowmen hate this thing. Well, I can see right through them, so let's go take a look. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely didn't like it. You can see right through there. Let me see. There we go. Hi. As per usual, the exit wound is magnificent. You can see everything. <laughs> All right. Let me get see what's next, and we'll see have some more fun. All right. Next up, we're going to shoot the 44 mag. As many of you know, this used to be the most powerful handgun on the market. We're shooting a 230 grain solid lead. All right, here we go. Let's hit it right. There. Definitely didn't slow it down. I don't know if you've seen it, but I did. All that dirt kick up behind it. 
me clear this. I almost didn't shoot that gun, but I mean, I brought it all the way out here, so what's the point of bringing it if I ain't gonna shoot it? Hit it right. Was it that one? It was this one right here. Hit it right there. Went back here and just blew all that dirt out up there. Oh man, I shot his belt. No, I missed it. Just moved it. All right, let me get a shotgun. We'll see what that does. All right, we got a shotgun ready. This is just a Maverick 88. We're shooting. A pellet double lot buck. This is some specially cheap stuff I got. Might do a lot, might not do anything. Let's take a look. It it did a lot. Let's go check it out. Well, his head is completely gone. So from what I've learned, sorry. I was gonna sit there and talk to you, but it's too windy. Let me get over here where it's a little more quiet. So what I've learned is snow won't protect you at all, but it's pretty. Bullets are pretty effective on angry snowmen too. So if you're getting attacked by snowmen, just shoot back. Be quicker than they are. Y'all have a good one. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. I'll see you next week on slightly less tactical.